So again, ang criteria natin, design and feature, fun factor, value for money. Cool na cool daw ito, sabi ng marami. Ito ang DJI Spark drone camera. 30,500 pesos ang presyo ng ating DJI Spark drone camera. Oh, so, Ms. Arian, design and feature ng DJI Spark drone Para camera. Para sa akin, yung design and feature na sobrang pop na pop. Kasi may mga nakita ko mga drones, but malalaki, bulky tignan, and also may white, tapos ang daming, ang daming lights, so parang may disco lights. Ito, meron lang parang basic traffic lights, which are yung red and green. So, tsaka yung light green. So, hindi siya nakakalito. Uh, takpak. <laughs> yung pakpak niya, sobrang elegant. Tsaka hindi siya, hindi talaga siya bulky tignan. And also, yung mga features niya, which is yun nga, yung hand gestures na sumusunod sa'yo. Sobrang nakaka-amaze kasi ngayon lang ako nakakita ng ganyan. The fun factor, obvious ba? Nag-enjoy siya. <laughs> pop na pop ang fun factor. Sobra. As in, yung from the moment na nag-open pa lang siya, natumunok. <laughs> Kapag lumipad na siya away from you or umalis na siya sa pama, sobrang nakakatuwa. Kasi, Minsan kakabahan ka baka bumagsak sa'yo or what. Doon pa lang yung mga element of surprise, sobrang okay. Pagdating sa value for money, pop or flop? For me, okay lang siya. Kasi I know some brands ng camera, hindi kahit drone. Yung mga normal na camera lang, DSLR, medyo lumalapit na rin sa price. So parang okay na siya. Sa akin, pop na pop yung price. It's user-friendly, meaning I have no idea how to fly a drone. And I was able to fly a drone. That is a big deal. So when it comes to design and features, pop na pop talaga. Like, it's a great little device. When it comes to the fun factor, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, I've seen videos of this happen. I just recently went to a flagship store and saw someone sample it. And yet, every time I'm see, I see it, I'm so amazed. When it comes to value for money, I know that 30000 is a big amount. But think about it. This is a simple solution for someone who's just starting out, who wants to try it out, who wants something simple. Yeah. I mean, it's the size of your phone, oh, right? Tama, tama. So, I believe, pop na pop, yung value for money. Una una, yung design niya, sobrang liit niya, sobrang portable niya, sobrang dali niyang gamitin. All you need to do is to press, yung uh, button dito sa likod, dalawang beses. And then, automatically, lilipad na siya. This is the only uh, drone from DJI na supported yung uh, hand gestures. So, para sa akin, yung design and features ng um, DJI Spark is pop. Fun factor, obviously. Noon uh, <laughs> ako narinig yung DJI Spark na review natin dito sa Pop Talk. Sobrang saya ko. Sabi ko, finally, mahawakan ko yung DJI Spark. Uh, para sa DJI na may gantong features, na gantong drone, na ganun yung quality ng camera, sobrang sulit na niya. So yes, para sa akin, pop ang uh, kanyang value for money. So, DJI Spark drone camera, ikay nakakuha ng 9 perfect pop points. Sa paper shoot camera, alright? Pop or flop bang design and feature? Arian. Pop na pop dahil ang daming designs to choose from. Ito nga leather, tapos kung gusto mo na medyo vintage, meron din dyan. Tsaka ang gaan, 80 grams lang. Oh. Tanggalab, hindi mo na kailangan yung pihit ka pa ng pihit. Stone paper siya at very um, earth-friendly. So sobrang okay to Hindi lang sa mga matatanda, but especially sa mga bata. Sobrang na-enjoy ko kanina. Kahit wala yung fish eye or yung wide lens, sobrang okay. Plus, meron siyang mga features na yung sepia, yung black and white, yung um, blue. Sobrang okay yeah. kasi you can play with the angles and also with the colors. Yeah. Pop na pop kasi ito pwede siyang pang regalo. Pwede rin sa kids. Yung mga kids nyo nga na Ayaw niyong pag-cellphone din muna dahil sa radiation and all. Gusto lang mag-picture. Ito, tsaka hindi mo na kailangan itago pa siya sa kung saan bag. Kasha siya sa mga bag mo na maliliit lang. For the design and features, pop na pop. Obviously, I love this thing. It's so cute. It's so pretty. I mean, all those things alone, I want this. It makes photography something more than a mechanical activity. For fun factor, of course, pop na pop. 3,995 pesos. Well, I would have loved it to be a little cheaper. So it's not something you buy out of necessity. So for something this fun, I would have wanted it to be a little more cheaper. So when it comes to price, I'm gonna say not so much. <laughs> so it's a flop. It's a flop.
gusto gusto ko yung designing features nila. Uh, madali mo papaltan yung design. Pag tinignan mo yung board sa loob, sobrang nipis lang niya, sobrang liit niya, and maamis ka na, wow, ganito lang pala kalaki yung uh, photo shoot camera. Yung lens niya, interchangeable, which is uh, wide and fish eye. Ang maganda doon is madaling mabili yung ganong lens. Mamagnet mo lang siya dito eh. So, saksak lang, yun na. So, para sa akin sa design and features, uh, pop naman. So, sa fan factor, yes, sobrang saya niya gamitin. I mean, nakita naman, nag-enjoy kami kanina. Tapos, in case na, you know, nawalan kayo ng battery, bibili lang kayo sa convenience store ng AAA. Matagal siya, maraming shots ang pwede. And then, since SD card naman siya, very common, marami kang masisave na images dun sa SD card niya. So, ato na sinabi ni Isa, 3995. Sana nga, medyo cheaper lang siya. How would you want it priced? Siguro sa akin, between 1,000 to 2,000 pesos para sa akin. Hindi kaya lugi naman sobra yung manufacturer nun? Well, yun ang hindi ko masabi. Depende kasi kung anong parts yung ginamit nila, like yung camera sensor. Well, yung board niya kasi is isang board lang siya. Paper shoot camera, ikaw yung nakakuha ng 7 pop points. Good job! Magpapahuli raw pa ang Vivo V5S, 40,990 pesos. Sinasabing isa sa pinakamagandang selfie cameras na makikita nyo sa merkado. Ariane, pop or flop bang design and feature? Para sa akin yung design and features, pop na pop. Kasi sobrang simple lang niya. But still, ang nipes. Tapos, yung interface niya, ang galing, ang, ang user-friendly. Ang dali lang gamitin. Tsaka yung mga features na like the selfie camera. Sobrang wala akong pores. Sobrang ganda. Kakaiba pa yung group selfie na feature na para siyang panoramic. Fun factor, sobrang fun. Kasi feeling ko kapag gising mo sa umaga, hindi ka na matatapos mag-selfie. Kasi I woke up like this lang talaga yung peg mo. Na parang hindi mo kailangan mag-ayos. Tapos nandun ka lang, ang dami pang mga effects. Yes, value for money sa akin, pop na pop rin naman. Kasi... Yung cellphone that I have right now is sobrang pricey. Compare dito na, eto kasi 2020 daw eh, 20 megapixel. So parang sobrang linaw compare dun sa camera ko na kinumpare ko kanina, sobrang sharp. I like Vivo phones because they're very sleek and they feel very premium usually. Yeah. Vivo's beauty mode is one of my favorites. Like I was telling you also earlier, ang ganda niya sa skin, it doesn't look too much, it doesn't look too fake, it looks pretty natural. Fresh ka, but you still look like you. But that being said, this phone has only single cameras, and it doesn't have the bokeh mode. And for a camera that has come out just recently, I would have loved for it to have those features. For me, when it comes to design and features, I would say it would be a flop. For when it comes to fun factor, come on. Like I said, I always love the selfies. Every single time I play with this phone, no matter what I say about, you know, hindi pa rin, kulang pa rin sa akin, or I still want this and that feature, I still have fun. When it comes to value for money, however, that's another thing because there is another Vivo cell phone, a dual cam na, for a little bit more you can buy. And, well, it would have the, the things that I, I was looking for, like the double camera, the bokeh mode, everything. So. In that sense, I don't feel like it would be worth fourteen thousand nine hundred ninety. So design and features, actually type kind design. It's plastic, mo kasi ng metal. Pag tiring na mo sa unang tingin, maganda yung design, simple. And then yung UI niya, yung user interface niya. Pag galing kay sa iPhone, hindi ka malilito, kasi wala siyang app drawer. Madali ka magswitch if you're coming from an iPhone. So I guess sa mga mahilig magselfie na naka iPhone na gusto ng mas murang smartphone. Uh, by description, I think uh, the Vivo V5S is a good smartphone for them. Para sa fan factor, pop siya. Kasi nga, para sa front camera niya, maganda yung quality. Meron time beauty mode. And syempre, yung features niya and yung camera niya talaga sa unahan is napakaganda. Technically, meron tayong MediaTek processor and uh, HD display. Pero at that price, makakuha tayo ng may mas magandang processor and mas magandang display. However, hindi nga siya ano for ano. Yung sa selfie camera niya, hindi ka pantay. Hindi 20 megapixel. But still, medyo uh, expensive yung uh, 14,990 na price niya para dito sa hardware niya. So, six pop points ang ibinigay ng ating mga reviewer para sa Vivo V5S. Recap tayo. Vivo V5S, six pop points. Paper shoot camera, 7 pop points DJI Spark 9 perfect pop points